In the next 60 seconds, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your bow in three easy steps. How to effectively play contrasting dynamics. Hello, I'm Chris from Isunya Musicali, and if you want to learn more about violin or viola playing, follow me. I make videos every day. Here are the three things to pay attention to and practice. Weight, bow speed, and placement. First, a common mistake is pressure versus weight. Pressure comes from only using your index finger to push the sound out. Using the weight of your arm allows you to pull the sound out instead. Imagine your arm is a lever and the weight of your arm is evenly distributed across your hand. Practice using the weight of your arm across the whole bow, making an even sound. Second is bow speed or length. Bow speed is sometimes hard to conceptualize, so think about your bow in fractions instead. If I use my whole bow for a quarter note, that's going to be pretty loud. If I only use a sixteenth of my bow, sixteenth, that will be really quiet. Third, if you play close to the bridge, you get a metallic sound, punticello. Playing close to or over the fingerboard, you will get a light and airy sound, surtasto. The bow is our paintbrush. We use each of these in combination to get a variety of kinds of sounds. A lot of practice is just experimenting with each of the ways we can play the same dynamics with a different character. If you enjoyed this video, go and grab my free guide, click on the link to get it.